We're just being a little bit flexible here. We don't have very long, and you can be assured the program is not going late. So you'll be pleased to know. And people, please have a seat if you don't mind. I'm sorry. We're, some people might feel a little rushed. We have, I, I want to introduce to you John Lockwood. And um, there is a group. They are coming from a group called SCAFI. S-C-A-F-I. I'll let... Um, I'll let John spell out exactly what that means. I think I know, but um, I'll let John do that. But can I just say this about this particular group? We've tried, we've tried to profile some ministries and things that are happening in the nation. And John has had uh, these calls, uh, which is really Christians and Jews working together getting to know one another, for Christians to understand more of the Jewish heritage and all sorts of people have been involved speaking from a, both in Australia and Israel and around the world. So I'm going to let John take it from there. It's blessing Israel in Australia. So we held it and we approached the rabbi, Rabbi Isaac Reisenberg, to hold it at the central shul in Caulfield, in the Jewish space, because we wanted our Jewish friends and our Christian friends to be seen to be standing together, united and working together. And we held that event in 2017, and I'm going to pass to the rabbi now, and he can tell you what happened and how it happened. And then Stephen Green, who's part of our committee, along with... I'll introduce some of the others, a number of Christian and Jewish organisations. Uh, the rabbi will tell you a little bit of the story. Um, thank you so much, uh, John. There's, uh, <laughs> there's, uh, there's, uh, the, uh, there's an expression in Hebrew, achron, achron chaviv. The one who's at the end is the most precious. So I really want to thank the organisers to... <laughs> I, I must uh, humbly share with you, sitting here uh, during the course of the day, receiving your blessings and, and your prayers, and one should never take for granted the prayers or blessings of anybody. And the Talmud highlights this in a remarkable story. Once a year, Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year, and Hashem, when he heard the blessing, he, he, he nodded his head in, in approvement. So from this, the rabbis learn, never neglect the blessing of anybody. Here you have Almighty himself, God himself, asking a mortal man, bless me, and nodding his head. I think God in heaven today is looking down, hearing your blessings, he's nodding his head <laughs> in approval. Nodding his head in approval. As, uh, as John mentioned, I, I met, uh, uh, the first time I, I met a group of Christians was actually uh, every year Hanukkah time in Parliament House in Victoria. We have a Hanukkah lighting pre-COVID in, in Parliament House. And one year there were uh, a number of Christians and to be blunt, I said, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> so it was really a shock and they said, we want to come and support you and support Israel. And uh, I was truly taken back. I, I'd, I'd never seen this, never heard of this, particularly um, I'm a child of Holocaust survivors and you, you know the history that I uh, grew up with. And we agreed to go there to have a, a coffee in Melbourne at Glick's uh, bakery, bakery and uh, we began to chat and made a particularly warm relationship uh, with uh, Peter Kentley, who uh, some of you knew. And uh, there at our synagogue, uh, we made a Nations Bless Israel event. It was, it was a remarkable event there in the synagogue. Uh, we, Christian groups got, got up, one of the, and he passed away um, all too soon, but one of the most remarkable calls uh, that I had from him um, in his latter months, he didn't tell me that he, he was suffering from terminal cancer, but he went to Jerusalem. And he called me, and I knew he was there, and he called me from time to time. And he said, today I'm the happiest man on earth. And I said, why? He says, I'm walking the streets of Jerusalem. I said, what are you doing? You don't understand. I'm walking on the cobblestones of Jerusalem. 
I'm the happiest man on earth. It says it all. It says it all. Thank you, Rabbi. So fast forward a few years later, and we, eight of us, are an alliance of Christians and Jews that actually sit on a committee and we do things. You've heard of Torah, the Avodah, the Torah and the Avodah. Torah is the, the word and Avodah is the action. And we've been absolutely blessed that our collective um, intellect and faith and networks have enabled us to run a series of weekly, of monthly Zoom events where we highlight stories of encouragement and stories of hope. We bring in guest speakers from the land, from Israel, that are doing extraordinary. Enoch or anyone on the committee, make yourself known and uh, pass on the Zoom details. Realising that Zoom is not for everyone, we also pride ourselves on live events. We try and do four, five or six a year. And we've actually been blessed um, to have the ambassador... Uh, Amir Maimon, who's led the charge, um, wanting to meet um, the faithful, and we're able to um, go into synagogues and uh, churches. We were in Victory Life in Perth. Uh, we've been to the Great Synagogue in Sydney, Central Shul in Melbourne. Tomorrow night is uh, uh, Cairns, Townsville the night after, in uh, two very big churches up there, and we will be standing together, shoulder to shoulder, Jews and Christians, supporting, praising and praying for Israel. So in summary, Southern Cross Alliance is an alliance of Christian ministries and Jewish organisations. So ZFA, um, uh, AJA, um, Peter Wirt, we work with the Jewish organisations, we invite them to input into what they're doing and, and share with the Christian communities of ICNG and Christians for Israel and many are Bridges for Peace and many who sit on our committee. So it's from, in my worldly view and knowledge of, of a love of Israel, this is the first time Christians and Jews are actually not just standing together.